Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to understand the for value loop in detail. If you have watched my previous video, which is about the basic idea of looping, where we have different discussed different types of loops, and we we saw the basic idea of for value loop. In this video, we are going to discuss this loop in detail. So let's start with the syntax. We just type the help space the command name which is for value and it would open this window. So this is the syntax of how do we write the for values loop. One thing you can either write it as for value or for values and I have used multiple of these both of these in my do file. The reason is if, if you remember what uh, how to read the syntax uh, there is also a video on this one the underline shows that we can abbreviate or we can shorten the command to the alphabets that are underlined so we can just write for value and that would be enough then we write after the command name we we assume a variable name it can be anything it can just be an alphabet then we write the equal to sign and then the range remember this for values command can only be used with numerical looping. If you wanted to loop through variables or the values within the variables or some string variable or some string uh, values, then we would have to use for each loop rather than for value loop. So we write this command, then we open the curly brackets. Remember the curly brackets should open on the same line as this command is on. Then we press enter and we write whatever command we want loop. Then on the last line, we end the command again by the curly brackets, by using the curly brackets. So let's just move back to Stata. I have this do file. Let us say I wanted to, let's, let's give you an idea. Display num numeric value one and then I wanted to display numeric value 2 and then again I wanted to display numeric value 3. So what I am doing is I am doing a rep repetitive task. For So I am using this command again and again, display a number. I am displaying a number again and again and it can be looped. Um, so, so this is what we are going to use. You can use any command other than the display command. I would get back to that in a while. So let's just say we wanted to display the number 1 to 10. So what we would do is we would write the command for value. We can write for value or for values. It is same thing. Then we give a variable name. It can be i or i name or, or just var, whatever you want. Then the equal to sign. Then the number it would start with oblique and the last number then the curly brackets and we press enter we write the command name or the command that we want to loop through and then we end the curly brackets so let's run this command okay you would notice that in first instance it displayed the number one then it incremented the number one by the value of one because it is assuming that it, it have to increment by one so it displays the value 2 then I would assume the value 3 and it would display the value 3 and so on and so forth but we do not want to display a number we want to perform some analysis and we want to do looping through it I have this data set opened which have the index values index returns for year 2001 to 2014 we want to summarize the the variable market return for each year so what we want to do is we want to to summarize this this variable of market return for year 2001 then we we need to repeat this command for year 2002 then for year 2003 and so on and so forth so now you would have got the idea that uh, re repeating a command manually is a time consuming task and there is a chance of an error so rather than doing that we are just going to loop it through using 
for value loop so again for value command then the variable name then the year that is the starting year oblique the ending year and we write the command name which is sum the market return if year is equal to so this i value would so so throughout the loop this i would assume different values it would start with 2001 and in second instance it would assume the value of 2002 and so on and so forth okay so let's run it you would notice that it have run the sum command multiple times starting with year 2001 and ending till 2014 similarly you can do it for regression or any other command what if we wanted to run it the other way around right starting with 10 and going towards 1 uh, you would have noticed that it doesn't work that way for that we would have to use some other way around but for now using this specific syntax you cannot do it the opposite way you'd have to start with the minimum value and end on the maximum value okay let's just do, do with uh, one more example let's just say instead of incrementing the value by one i want to increment it by 1.5 so so in these previous examples it, it always assumes the value the increment value of one so rather than increment value of 1 we want it to have an increment value of 1.5 or 2 or whatever the value we want we would use this specific syntax let's execute this command you would notice that it started with 1 incremented by 2 so now we got the value of 3 then again the incremented by 2 and we got the value of 5 let us say we wanted to start with 10 and we want to end on 1 but we want to increment by 1.5 or let's just say 1 remember last time we were not able to do it using this specific syntax but now we can uh, using this specific syntax so you can imagine that it started with 10 and then uh, decreased by uh, by each value so if, if you want to do it like this you start you want to start with the maximum value and end uh, on the minimum value then instead of doing it like this you would have to do it uh, using this syntax then there is another way where what what we have done is that uh, instead of using the parentheses we have written it like this one space three space the word two and then ten <clears throat> what it would do is it would increment by the difference of 3 and 1 so let me do it so now the increment value is what it is 2 how the increment value is calculated it is calculated by the difference of 3 and 1 so if if i use the value of 5 then it should increment by the value of 4 right so it would start with 1 it would display 1 then it should display 5 and then it should display uh, 9 so you got that uh, so it is increment by the difference of this 5 and 1 uh, similar is the case over here uh, it should all it, it is also the same but just the syntax it a little bit different so it would give you the same result one more example if you wanted to display some um, sorry if you wanted to generate some variables and we want those variables to have some random number let's just say we want to illustrate some example so we would set the observation to 5 because we want the variables to have 5 observations each variable should have 5 observations if you wanted to have more observations then you would increase this value so we loop uh, we want to create 5 variables different variables we use the generate command then we give the name of the variable the the name of the variable would be variable 1 variable 2 variable 3 and then the function uniform so let's do it okay so in this case it is not uh, going to generate because i already have a data set over here i would just clear the data set and then re execute the command and you would notice that it has generated five variables 
and these variables contain five random values okay looping through negative values so let's just say we want to start with minus 5 and we want to end on minus 10 uh, so we can also do it using this uh, for value loop so it start with minus 5 and end till minus 10 one that you should remember with when by looping through negative value is that let's just say we want to square the value so the first value that it would assume would be minus 5 so minus 5 square is equal to 25 positive 25 number but the issue with this looping is that it it would it wouldn't do it like this so let me run this and you would notice that now we would see that it is minus 25 it should have been plus 25 the reason is that what it is doing is it is displaying uh, 5 square 2 and it gets the result of 25 and then just it inputs the minus sign right so it takes 5 square it and then it put the minus sign the way around is to use parenthesis over uh, over the i value now if we run this you would notice that this is the result that we wanted so that is for now uh, in next video we are going to discuss in detail the for each loop remember for value loop is quite limited in scope but for each loop is uh, can be used for multiple of re uh, uh, for multiple of reasons it can be used to loop through variables it can be used through uh, to loop through var variable values right if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do subscribe it so as soon as i update a video you you are notified of that